Okay, so now we're back. I'm going to show you how to do a single phase motor. Uh, a few things we want to do first before we connect it is we want to test it. So I'm going to go to ohms. Again, I'm selecting my ohms, making sure that I've got ohms on there. And there we go. I will check my leads to make sure my test is actually functioning. Just going through its uh, auto scale, you can see it's giving me 0 0.03 ohms, which is really good. So, first things first, I want to check my run winding. Let's see what the reading is there. I'm getting 2.7 ohms, which is good. My auxiliary should be higher. See, I get 5 ohms. Now the reason this is higher because I want to curb that rushing current so I do the start windings is always at a higher value. I want to look at my centrifugal switch. I'm getting 1.1 1 .1 ohm. Sometimes it can be high and it's because it's a, it's, a, it's a contact and it builds up a little bit of oxidation sometimes so yeah just, just have a look and see if they're all good. Now I've done that. The, last other thing I want to do is, is I just want to quickly check my earth to all known uh, active uh, metal parts it's 0.4 I'll just go to another point just make sure 0.4 now I know that my earth is connected to my motor it's pretty good uh, next thing I want to do is I want to check my capacitors now this uh, tester can actually do the capacitor there's a sign for it so if I go and I select capacitors there we go, it's given me in the, um, at the moment it's just showing me that I can do it. So let's do the run capacitor. Now you've got to keep it there for a little while, it takes some time. So I get 45.8 microfarad. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but it's a little tiny reading says there, microfarad. And then if I go to my start, then I should have a much higher reading on that one. Let's see if that's right. And I get 384 microfarad. To me, it's just this is just indicating to me that the capacitors are in working condition. I don't know. I will have to do like a physical uh, or a visual check to see if they're bulging or leaking, because we need to make sure that the capacitors are good. So at this stage, I'm happy with that. Uh, the uh, tester, the board is testing okay. The next step I want to do is, is I want to check my insulation resistance test. Now again, I'm just going to go for the 250 because I don't want to put 500 volts through it. So I'm just checking, is the reading good? Yep, it is working. Now I'm not going to go this way because look at it, if, if I do it, it's going to show me that there's a fault because when I do my IR, I want to get a reading that's bigger than or greater than one mega ohm. So one mega ohm, if you can see, it's over there. So it needs to be on this side of it, not this side, because that's zero. There's one. So I'll show you if I made a mistake. So if I make a mistake, see there, it picks it up. It shows me as a fault, but it's because I'm doing the reading incorrectly. So I'll just go to one point and I'll just check to all my other points just to make sure that they are internally. There's no fault. I'll just go to the next one. Check 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 nothing check again again touch the leads again i now know that this motor is fit for testing or for connecting so the next video i'll show you how we're going to connect a capacitor start and then we'll do a capacitor start capacitor run motor